binge eating is a real thing. I'm so fed up of hearing of people telling them how they're belittled and gaslit about their binge eating, you know, not being real or it's all in their imagination and just being told to, well, just stop eating then. That is so wrong. But hi, I'm Vanessa McLennan. Welcome back to my channel on here. We talk about all the things psychology to do with binge eating, overeating and weight loss. So uh, keep watching for some of these binge eating myths. Well, just stop eating. Oh, please. Do you know, if it was that easy, you would have stopped eating already. You know, you know when you have a binge coming on and you have probably tried no doubt many times to do exactly that, to stop eating. And you know, it's just not that easy. Just something takes over and you just then have to binge. And it's the binging that makes you feel better which makes it really, really difficult to stop. The thing is when you're going to a professional or you're going to someone for help, you probably are at the end of your tether. And it is also really difficult to go to somebody because it's admitting to yourself that I have an issue here and I can't deal with it myself. So then when somebody tells you just, I will just stop eating then. It's really belittling your experience. They are not taking you seriously. It could be called a form of gaslighting. So if this happens to you, you could probably just answer, oh, sounds like you're not understanding my condition fully. I've come for help. How could you please do that for me? We'll just go on a diet. Ah, sorry, no, this is really not the answer. It makes logical sense, I think, though, if you've overeaten in one sitting, to balance it out is to, you know, not eat as much. And of course, a diet is going to tell us how much to eat and when to eat. So it does seem on the surface, well, yeah, of course, this makes sense. Only a diet is a logical solution for something that is not logical. Binge eating is an addictive like disorder. And it is totally illogical. So no logical solution is going to help the illogical. So binge eating comes from a lot of our you know, emotions, our conditioning. Um, and so our emotions a lot of the time dictate to us perhaps what we want to eat. You know, what we fancy in that moment. Our hunger can come up and start dictating to us about how much it is that we need to eat. But it's our conditioning and our beliefs around everything, the food especially, that dictate to us our eating patterns, so our eating habits. And this is the totally illogical side, and no diet is going to be able to dictate to us all of these. And hence why diets never work, because our eating patterns, our beliefs, and our what's in the unconscious, so it's dictating all of our emotions, all of our conditioning, comes up and overtakes the logical and hence yet yeah, a diet is never the answer you just lack willpower i think this can be actually quite damaging to ourselves if we also believe it and if we also believe it and then somebody else is reiterating to us or telling us that well you're just lacking willpower um it's doubly damaging isn't it it doesn't help us get out of this hole but here's the thing it is not about willpower and it is not that we lack willpower. Binge eating is a disorder and there are so many different elements that go into the binge eating from, you know, our, let's say, even conditioning from our parents or conditioning from, you know, who else around us or, you know, our past and our behaviours and our beliefs about it all as we're growing up or even as the present day. And just how the world reacts to us and it's how we've been conditioned all of these years this is the thing that can cause a binge eating nothing to do with lack of willpower so you do have willpower it's a disorder that is really really hard to heal but it's possible oh it's just overeating no there is a difference between just simply overeating and binge eating Thing with overeating is you might just be having a really nice dinner and you like it so much that you just want to eat more of it 
you might have a biscuit but actually it's so nice it hit a sweet spot in your brain so you want a couple more the big difference here is with binge eating there is an urge that creeps up that makes you really want to eat is not just as simple as oh i'm just going to have one more biscuit there are so many more emotions attached to it the urge that you just can't control the amount of food that you eat in a small space of time and then the feelings afterwards of coming up with you know guilt and shame or just disappointment in yourself whereas when you simply overeat it is a, that feelings could come up oh god i shouldn't have eaten it but then they're let go where we're binge eating it's crushing and it makes it into this cycle where guess what eventually we have this urge and we want to binge eat again so yeah completely two different things so if anyone tells you it's just overeating no i wish it was it is a disorder that i'm suffering from oh you're not overweight so you don't have a problem what where did this one come from since when do you have to be overweight to be suffering with an eating disorder. I think the perception is that because there is binging that you must be overweight. What people don't realize is that binge eating also comes with a lot of restriction. And so actually that restriction, a person might not be overweight. And in fact, a weight might not be the person's issue at all. It might be that the binge eating is such a controlling issue. In other words, it takes over their lives and that is very hard to undo and that they can't stop thinking about food. So it's like taking over your mind and your body. I've helped many clients who have an eating disorder and binge eating in particular, but come with lots of restriction. And you'd never know because they're completely normal weight. So if you like watching my videos, thank you very much. Please subscribe uh, and tell, let me know in the comments your thoughts. Thank you.